This video was made possible thanks to the support of our brilliant patrons. We cannot express how thankful we are to you all. Hello everyone and welcome to another EDH gameplay video brought to you by Affinity for Commander. My name's Martin. My name is Alex. This week we have one new player, two new commanders and several hilarious moments that only EDH can offer. So without further ado, let's check out those opening hands. My commander is Brea, Ethereum Shaper. I keep an opening hand of Doretti, Scrap Savant, Whip of Erebos, Thirst for Knowledge, Trash for Treasure, Command's Tower, Seat of the Synod, and Mystic Monastery. My commander is Sekuar, Death Keeper. My opening hand contains Death Rite Shaman, Elves of Deep Shadow, Eternal Witness, Rishkar's Expertise, Savage Lands, Temple of the False God, and a Mountain. Callum is playing his Veiler, the Nightclad deck. He keeps an opening hand consisting of Siren Storm Tamer, Kozilex Channeler, Soul Ring, Manolith, Thran Dynamo, Negate, and Dismal Backwater. And finally, Calvin's commander is Azuri, Claw of Progress. His opening hand is made up of Elusive Krasis, Cold Eye Selkie, Forgotten Ancient, Hadana's Climb, and Two Forests. Callum wins the die roll and starts the game off by playing Dismal Backwater, gaining a life. He then passes to Alex. I play Savage Lands and end my turn. I play Mystic Monastery and pass the turn. Calvin plays a forest and then casts Experiment 1. He then passes to Callum. Callum plays a swamp and then casts Sol Ring. He then casts Manolith, followed by Siren Storm Tamer, before passing the turn. I play a mountain and then cast Elves of Deep Shadow. I then pass to Martin. In my turn, I play Command's Tower, and then end my turn. Calvin plays a forest, and then moves to combat. He attacks Martin with Experiment 1, dealing him 1 damage, and then passes the turn. Callum plays an island, casts Thran Dynamo, and then casts Kozilek's Channeler. He then ends his turn. I begin my turn by playing a forest, and then cast Deathrite Shaman. Next, I cast Goblin Bombardment, and then pass to Martin. I play an island, and then cast Soul Ring. Next, I cast Thirst for Knowledge, drawing three cards and discarding Whip of Erebos. I then pass the turn. Calvin plays High Market, and then casts Cold Eye Selkie. He then ends his turn. In his turn, Callum plays Terramorphic Expanse, immediately sacrificing it to put an island into play tapped. He then casts Tide Drifter and passes to Alex. I play a forest and then exile Callum's Terramorphic Expanse with my Deathrite Shaman to add a mana to my mana pool. I then cast my commander, Sekuar Deathkeeper, and pass the turn. I start my turn by playing Seat of the Synod, and then cast Treasure Mage. I search my library for Memnarch, put him into my hand, and then cast Doretti, Ingenious Iconoclast. Callum responds by casting Negate, countering the Planeswalker, and I then end my turn. Callum plays Evolving Wilds, searching his library for an island and putting it onto the battlefield tapped. Moving to combat, Calvin attacks Callum with his Selkie. Callum is unable to block, given that it has Island Walk, and takes one damage. Calvin draws a card and then passes the turn. Callum begins his turn by casting Mist Intruder, and then casts his commander, Veiler the Nightclad. He then passes to Alex. I play Temple of the False God, and then cast Rishkar's Expertise. I draw four cards and then cast Acidic Slime without paying its mana cost. I use its Enter the Battlefield trigger to destroy Callum's Thran Dynamo, and then move to combat. I attack Martin with my commander and he chooses not to block. Martin takes 4 damage, and I then end my turn. I play Buried Ruin, and then cast the Memnock that I tooted for last turn. I then pass to Calvin. Calvin plays a forest, and then casts his commander, Azuri, Claw of Progress. He puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on his experiment 1 thanks to its evolved trigger, and then moves to combat. Calvin once again attacks Callum with his Selkie, dealing him 1 damage. He draws a card, and then passes the turn. In his turn, Callum casts Pawn of Ulamog. He then moves to combat, attacking Calvin with Mist Intruder. Calvin takes 1 damage and exiles the top card of his library to Mist Intruder's ingest ability. Callum then passes to Alex. I start my turn by casting Tireless Tracker, and then play Urborg, Tomb of Yorgmoth. I make a clue, 
cast Midnight Reaper, and then move to combat. I attack Calvin with my slime, and he declares no blocks. Calvin takes two damage, and I then end my turn. I begin my turn by using Memnok's ability, turning Azori into an artifact. I then use Memnok's other ability, taking control of Azori, and then pass the turn. Calvin plays Terramorphic Expanse, and then casts Hadana's Climb. Moving to combat, Calvin uses the climb to put a plus one plus one count on his Selkie, and then sends it at Martin. Unable to block, Martin takes two damage, and Calvin draws two cards. Calvin then moves to his second main phase, where he sacrifices Terramorphic Expanse to put an island into play. He then passes to Callum, who bribes Martin with chocolate, before moving to his turn. Callum starts his turn by casting Door of Destinies, naming Eldrazi. He then moves to combat, attacking Calvin with his commander and Mist Intruder. Unable to block either creature, Calvin takes 5 damage and exiles the top card of his library. Callum then ends his turn, to which Alex responds by sacrificing his clue to draw a card. He puts a plus one plus one counter on his tracker, and then proceeds to his turn. In my turn I cast Scavenging Ooze, and then move to combat. I attack Calvin with my commander, and Callum with my slime. Neither player blocks, Calvin takes four, and Callum takes two. I then pass the turn. I begin my turn by casting my commander, Breyer, Ethereum Shaper. I make two 1 1 Thopters, gain two experience counters, and then cycle Ash Barons to put a planes into my hand. I play the planes, cast Tempered Steel, and then move to combat. I put two plus one plus one counters on a Thopter, attack Callum with Memnarch, and Calvin with his own commander. Calvin blocks with Experiment 1, and Callum blocks with Tide Drifter. I then end my turn. Calvin plays Reliquary Tower, and then casts Forgotten Ancient. Next, he casts Nissus, Steward of Elements, where X is 1, putting a plus 1 plus 1 counter on his Ancient. Calvin uses Nissus plus 2 ability to scry 2, moves to combat, and puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Cold Iselki. He attacks Callum with the Merfolk, dealing him 3 damage. Calvin then draws 3 cards and passes the turn. For his turn, Callum casts Cultivator Drone, putting a charge counter on Door of Destinies, and Calvin puts a plus one plus one counter on Forgotten Ancient. Moving to combat, Callum once again attacks Calvin with Mist Intruder, and Nissa with Vela. Nissa's loyalty is reduced to zero, Calvin takes two damage, and exiles the top card of his library. Callum then passes the turn, and Alex responds by casting Crocent Grip, destroying my Soul Ring. He then exiles Tide Drifter from Callum's graveyard with his ooze, gaining a life and putting a plus one plus one counter on the creature. Still not finished, Alex exiles the land in Calvin's graveyard with his Deathrite Shaman. He then uses the mana that he produced with his Shaman to exile Calvin's Experiment 1, gaining another life and putting another plus one plus one counter on the ooze. Alex then moves to his turn. I begin my turn by exiling the Ash Barons in Martin's graveyard with my Shaman, and then cast Decree of Pain. The board is wiped of creatures, I draw 28 cards thanks to Decree and my Reaper. Everyone other than Callum takes 6 damage from Vela, and I lose a further 7 from my Reaper. Callum then makes 6-0-1 Eldrazi spawns a result of Pawn of Ulamog, and I make 6-3-1 Graveboard tokens thanks to Sekuar. I then play Sheltered Thicket, discard down to 7, and pass to Martin. In my turn, I play Vault of Whispers, and then cast Sharum the Hegemon. I return Memnog to the battlefield of her ability, and then end my turn. Calvin plays Vivid Grove, and then cast Nyssa, Voice of Zendikar. He uses her plus one ability to make a zero one plant, and then moves to combat. Calvin puts a plus one plus one counter on his plant, and then passes the turn. Calvin starts his turn by casting Conduit of Ruin putting a charge counter on his door and searching his library for Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. He puts the Eldrazi Titan on top of his library and then passes to Alex. I play a forest and then cast Sunbird's Invocation. Next I cast Judith the Scourge Diva and cast Putrefy from my Invocation's trigger. I make a deal with Callum in exchange for not destroying his Door of Destinies, and instead destroy Martin's Memnarch. Moving to combat, I attack Nyssa with two of my Greyborn tokens, and Calvin with a third. Calvin blocks the creature attacking him, and Nyssa's loyalty hits zero. I deal one damage to Martin with Judah's trigger, and I then pass the turn. 
I start my turn by playing Terramorph Expanse, and then cast Trash for Treasure. I sacrifice my Vault of Whispers, returning Memnog to the battlefield once more. Moving to combat, I attack Alex with Sharoom. He takes 7 damage, and I then pass to Calvin. Calvin plays an island, and then casts Elusive Crasis. Moving to combat, he puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on his Fish Mutant, and then ends his turn. Callum draws the Ulamog from the top of his library, and then sacrifices a spawn in order to cast him. He puts a charge counter on his door, and then chooses to exile Memnarch and Elusive Priestess with Ulamog's enter the battlefield trigger. I respond by using Memnarch's ability to take control of Callum's door, and the two creatures are then exiled. Callum then passes to Alex. In my turn, I cast Kodama's Reach, and am unable to cast any of the cards revealed with Sunbird's Invocation. I fail to find two basics and put a swamp into my hand, and then play it. Next, I play Sakura Tribe Elder, and am once again unable to cast anything off Sunbird's Invocation. Moving to combat, I attack Marta with five Graveborn tokens and Judith, swinging for lethal damage. Martin pleads for help, and Calvin comes in like a knight in shining armour and casts Arachnogenesis. Combat damage is prevented, but Calvin doesn't make any spiders given that no creatures are attacking him. Martin expresses his eternal gratitude, and I, absolutely livid, then move to my second main phase. I cast Windgrace's Judgement, I cast Reclamation Sage off of my Invocation's trigger, destroying Martin's Tempered Steel, and then destroy Sharoom, Hadana's Climb, and a Scion. I then pass the turn, and Martin responds by sacrificing his Terramorphic Expanse to put a mountain into play. He then moves to his turn. I play Spire of Industry, and then cast Doretti, Scrap Savant. I use his minus two ability, sacrificing Door of Destinies to return Sharoom to the battlefield. I then use Sharoom's ability to return Whip of Erebos to play, and then end my turn. Callum responds by casting Beast Within, targeting Goblin Bombardment and Alex responds by sacrificing all of his creatures except for Judith to the enchantments. He directs all 7 bombardment damage and all 7 Judith damage at Calvin, bringing him rather close to losing the game. The bombardment is then destroyed and Alex gets a 3-3 beast token, and Calvin proceeds to his turn. For his turn, Calvin casts Verdant Force. He then ends his turn. In Calvin's upkeep, Calvin makes a 1-1 sapperling thanks to his elemental. Callum then casts Ruination Guide, sacrificing two spawns and recasts his commander. Moving to combat, he attacks Calvin with Conduit of Ruin and Alex with Ulamog, breaking their truce. Neither player can block, given that Callum's creatures have Intimidate. Calvin takes five, knocking him out of the game, and Alex exiles the top 20 cards of his library before taking 11 damage. Callum then passes the turn. I move straight to combat, attacking Duretti with both of my creatures. Martin blocks Judith with Sharoom. Duretti's loyalty hits zero, Martin gains five from his whip's lifelink, and then takes one from Judith's ability. In my second main phase, I cast Damnation, triggering Sunbird's invocation. Martin responds by improvising Word of Invention where X is three. He puts Dispel's capsule onto the battlefield, and I cast Hole Breach off my invocation's trigger. I destroy Martin's whip and capsule, leaving him feeling personally victimized by Sunbird's invocation. Damnation then resolves, and Bella deals myself and Martin fire damage. Not yet finished, I cast Eternal Witness, and I'm unable to cast anything off Sunbird's Invocation. I return Shieldred Whispering One to my hand with the Witness's ability, and then cast Squee the Immortal, before passing to Martin. In my turn, I recast Breyer, making two 1-1 one -one Thopters. I then end my turn. Callum moves straight to combat, attacking me with Ulamog. I exile the top 20 cards in my library, leaving 4 cards in my library. I block the titan with Squee, and then Callum passes the turn. Alex plays Blooming Marsh, and then casts Shieldred, Whispering One. He puts Perforos, God of the Forge, into play with his Sunbird's trigger, and casts Squee from his graveyard. Callum and I both take 2 damage, and Alex ends his turn. In his upkeep, Martin sacrifices a Thopter to Shieldred. He then plays Nomad Outpost and casts Ugin's Nexus. Not quite finished, Martin casts a Voltaic Key, and then moves to combat. He attacks Callum with both of his creatures, dealing him 5 damage, and then passes to Callum. Callum sacrifices Ulamog to Shieldred in his upkeep, and then plays a Swamp. He then passes the turn. 
I return Judas to the battlefield with my Shieldred in my upkeep, and Perforos deals two damage to my opponents. I then play Jund Panorama, cast Surak the Huntcaller, and Perforos triggers once more. Perforos has enough devotion to make him a creature, and I move to combat. I use Surak's formidable ability to give him self haste, and then attack Callum for lethal damage with all of my creatures except for Judith. Callum is knocked out of the game, and I then pass the turn. Martin responds by sacrificing his key and nexus to Brea, dealing me 3 damage and gaining an extra turn. He then proceeds to his turn. In my upkeep, I sacrifice Brea to Shieldred and then use Buried Ruin to return her to my hand. I then cast her, make two Thopters, and then move to combat. I attack Alex for a Thopter, dealing him one damage, and then move to my second main phase. I use Brea's ability, sacrificing two Thopters to deal Alex three damage, winning me the game. Well, that was certainly a close one. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed seeing Brea bolt Alex for the win, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out. Also, feel free to follow us on Twitter, at 4Commander, and check out our Patreon page, links in the description. We'll see you next time.